In this video, we will talk about how to find the area of a regular polygon given the side length. So let's say we have this pentagon here, and we're told that this side length is 10. How can we find the area of the entire pentagon? Well, we can use this formula right here. The area is equal to 1 half times A, which is the apothem, times P, which is the perimeter. So it's pretty easy to find the perimeter if we're given the side length here. So a pentagon has five sides, so if this side is 10, the perimeter must be 10 times 5 which is just 50. So that's pretty easy to find. The apothem, this A right here in the formula, is a little trickier to find. So remember, the apothem is the distance from the center of the polygon to the midpoint of one of the sides. So we'll call this A right here, this apothem. So how can we find that? Well, we can use a trick where we create a triangle like this. And what we can do is we can create five congruent triangles since a pentagon has five sides. And what we know is that the sum of all of these central angles of these five triangles must add up to 360 degrees. So to find just this angle right here of one of these triangles, we can say 360 degrees divided by five. So that turns out to be 72 degrees. So this red angle right here is 72 degrees, and the apothem perfectly splits this in half. So what is half of that? So 72 degrees divided by two is 36 degrees. So we can say this little angle right here is 36 degrees. So if we know this angle and we know this side length and we recognize that this is a right triangle, we can figure out what this apothem length is by using a little trigonometry. So if you recall the acronym SOHCAHTOA, this says the tangent of an angle can be calculated by taking the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So what we can say is the tangent of 36 degrees is equal to the opposite side, so the side opposite of it is this side right here. So we know that this full length is 10, and the apothem splits this side in half, so half of this length, this side must be 5 right here. So we can say 5 divided by the adjacent side, which turns out to be our apothem right here. So we'll write an A. So we can easily solve for A. If we multiply both sides by A, we'll get A times the tangent of 36 degrees, is equal to 5, and then if we divide both sides by the tangent of 36 degrees, we'll find that A is equal to 5 divided by the tangent of 36 degrees. Now, if you punch this into a calculator, you'll get about 6.88. So we found the apothem, and we found the perimeter, so now we have everything we need to plug into the formula to find this area. So I'll create a little room right here. Okay, so we found the apothem is 6.88 and the perimeter is 50. So plugging these into the formula for the area, we find that the area is 1 half times the apothem times the perimeter. And if you punch all this into a calculator, you'll get about 172. And let's just say we're working in centimeters. That can be our unit. So we'll say centimeters squared since we're talking about area. So that is how you can find the area of a regular polygon given only the side length.